Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and today I want to share with you the finishing touches I have put on my son's bedroom. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you the finishing touches I have put on my son's bedroom. So over the Easter holidays we decided that we'd like to redecorate in Ted's bedroom. So the last bedroom that he had was the taste of the people who used to live here. so we decided to update it a bit for him we removed the wallpaper and we've painted the walls um, and he was really pleased and then we decided to put some finishing touches on the room just to make it to a bit more of his taste and the things he likes so I decided to make a video of how I've done this and I thought this would be interesting. I love watching videos like this. I love it when people renovate houses and things like that. So I really enjoy watching these videos and I also really enjoy making them and sharing them with you as well. So today I thought I'd share with you all the little finishing touches that I have done to get this room up to the standard we wanted it at. So here are the finishing touches I've put on my son's bedroom. This is Ted's bedroom before I start to put the finishing touches on it. It's looking a lot brighter in here and we're really pleased with the finished results. But this wall here is the one I want to paint. We, um, it's a bit dirty and we did get a bit of blue paint on it as well. I think I'm going to show you that in a moment. So yes, when we were painting the walls, we accidentally got a little bit of blue paint on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of gloss on here. Um, I bought some one coat gloss, which I thought would be good, but actually it wasn't that brilliant, but it was okay on this bit. So I'm going to coat, I'm going to use gloss on this part. And then I'm going to also gloss over these wardrobe handles as well. Um, the handles Ted doesn't like, he says they're too babyish. So I've now painted them white with gloss as well. And then I also wanted to clean this carpet. So this carpet we've had for years and years. It was in Ted's last bedroom in our old house and it's got a few stains on it, which I want to try and get out. So first time I tried to use bicarbonate of soda, which you'll see in this video. But the next time I did actually have to use carpet cleaner. So I will show you that as well. So now I'm going to move on to taping up or cleaning. I'm going to clean first, actually, the piece of wood that is on the side of Ted's wardrobe down here. So this is the piece of wood that um, is holding Ted's wardrobe up, basically. I don't know how I call that, but anyway, yeah, I decided to give this a clean. And then once I'd given this a clean, I then moved on to cleaning the handles of his wardrobe doors as well. Um, this wasn't too dirty, I have to say. But as I said, there were paint marks on it, which is why we wanted to clean um, and just give it a lick of paint as well. It looks a bit dull, so once we've given it a lick of paint, it looks a lot brighter. And these handles, Ted said, were quite babyish, so that's why he wanted them changed. And I did try to take the handles off from the wardrobe doors because there are screws at the back. So I thought I'd be able to take the handles off. But unfortunately, I unscrewed the screw on one of the doors and the handle didn't fall off in my hand. And I was like, oh. And then I realised it was actually glued on. So I didn't actually manage to get the handle off the door at all. So that's why I'm painting them. So once I've washed these, I then move on to putting bicarbonate of soda all over a carpet. Um, this may seem strike strange, but I was trying to use natural methods. So we have a big bucket of bicarbonate of soda that I bought from Amazon. Um, I think I'm going to show it to you now. Um, it's really cheap to buy it this way and it is meant to be used for um, cleaning as well. It's not meant to be used in your cooking, it's actually meant to be used for cleaning. Um, I think I think you can use it in your cooking, but I'm, personally I just use it for uh, cleaning. So yes, I basically decided to just try the bicarbonate of soda as a natural method of cleaning the carpet. So I put bicarbonate of soda all over this carpet and once I'd done that, I then um, I then rubbed it in a little bit as well. 
and it said on the internet to leave it on for 24 hours but unfortunately my son sleeps in this bedroom and I didn't really want to leave it on for 24 hours because I could imagine finding bicarbonate of soda all over the house um, he probably would tread on it and then just tread it in the house so I left it on for a couple of hours while I started to paint before I started the process of painting I just used a bit of masking tape and I taped down the side of the wall that we had just newly painted um, this is so I protected that wall in case I hit the wall with any brushes that had gloss paint on I didn't want to get gloss paint on that newly painted wall and then have to paint that with the blue and then get blue on the other wall again it would be a never-ending cycle I'm sure so I'm just protecting myself and the wall so I just simply masking tape all the way down to the bottom and then along the bottom as well and then once that is done I then start to paint with gloss on this wall painting the wall of the wardrobe I then moved on to painting the handles and to make sure I didn't get any paint on the wardrobe door I actually put masking tape all the way around the handles um, and once I put masking tape on every handle on every door I then moved on to painting the handles themselves and as I said I did have to use two coats of paint I found that I had to use the paint quite thickly because otherwise it would drip down and it would leave a drip mark at the end of the handle so yeah I've had to use two coats um, and I did have to leave this to dry for 24 hours and it was quite smelly as well I have to say but I did one coat on a Friday morning and then one coat on a Saturday morning um, the smell has taken a little while to go in Ted's room as well but it has gone now um, so yes uh, really pleased with these finished results um, I am a bit sad that I couldn't replace the handles but I, th I think if I had taken the handles off um, I would have had to replace the doors as well so yes I'm pleased that we have painted these and I do think the room looks better with these white handles than the blue and the white ones that we had previously <laughs>
once I'd finished painting the handles of Ted's bedroom door, I then moved back to the carpet and I'm just hoovering off the bicarbonate of soda. This is what it said to do on the internet, was just to vacuum off the bicarbonate of soda. So that's all I'm doing here. I don't think that has worked quite as well as I'd hoped it had it would even there are still some dirty marks there 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 and there as well the rest of the carpet looks fairly clean apart from that so I reckon if I did leave it for 24 hours it may work but I think I might have to get some proper carpet cleaner to clean this carpet but I have given it a try and I'm really pleased I did has done a good job on the parts that didn't really have any stains on them but just not on the ones that did but as i said i'm really pleased that i've done it one of my final jobs was to put this world map sticker onto ted's bedroom wall just above his bed um i can't remember how much this sticker cost us or where i bought it from but i'm going to mention it in a favorites video and i promise i will have done my research by then and found out where we bought it from and exactly how much it cost but for now I thought I'd tell you how I got this sticker on the wall. So in the instructions and on the YouTube videos that I watched as well, it said to wipe down the wall before you put the sticker up. This wall has just been newly painted so it didn't need that much of a wipe um, or a clean. So I just wiped it down with a tea towel and then I put the sticker on. So it said to peel away um, the top part of the sticker. Um, and put it on the wall and then keep peeling and then keep pushing down on the tissue paper as you peel away at the back um, and once you've done that then you can start to peel away the tissue paper on the front this was the bit I was most afraid of to be honest I was a bit scared I might rip the um, sticker and it would look awful on the wall but thankfully it turned out okay I think I've done a really good job on this I did have to push out some air bubbles from the sticker once it was on the wall but once it was up we all really liked it um, I showed it to Ted and he thought it looked really cool and we were all really pleased with the finished results on this one As I mentioned earlier I did have to buy some carpet cleaner so this is just one I bought from Tesco's it did do a good job unfortunately it's not an organic or natural one so I did have to use chemicals in this room which I didn't really want to do but it has done quite a good job the stains have faded I can still see them but they have faded and the carpet does look really nice and clean after using the carpet cleaner as well bedroom done and we're all really pleased with the finished results we really love the world map on the wall and the carpet is smelling very clean right now and the handles on Ted's bedroom wardrobe are looking good so yes for now that is the finishing touches done that's all of the finishing touches I've put on my son's bedroom and that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.